हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल नितेश तिवारी टेक्निकल हब एंड इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर्स एंड वी हैव टू डिस्कस अबाउट द डिज़ाइन एंड कंट्रोल ऑफ बक कन्वर्टर यूजिंग मैट लैब एंड सिमलिंक एंड स्पेशली इन दिस वीडियो वी हैव टू डिस्कस अबाउट द क्लोज लूप बक कन्वर्टर विदाउट यूजिंग एनी कंट्रोल टेक्निक इफ यू आर नॉट सींग माई प्रीवियस वीडियो अबाउट द बक कन्वर्टर अबाउट द ओपन लूप बक कन्वर्टर स्पेशली दैन फर्स्ट वी हैव टू गो and see my first video video with uh, and the link of this video is uh, uh, given in the description box so in this video we have to discuss to how to design the buck converter and especially closed loop buck converters so this is the simple circuit diagram of closed loop buck converter and in this circuit diagram what is the difference between this circuit diagram and what you have to uh, seen in the, my first video is that we just include one closed loop we just take a output as a closed uh, feedback so this was the closed loop buck converter so what is the importance of this circuit that the in the previous uh, circuits that is in, in open loop buck converter your output is not going to be controlled this one this one is the uncontrolled and uh, your uh, uh, buck converter is not sense the what is the output it will be given but in this circuit uh you are use uh, you are taking our output as a input of the uh, this uh, uh, mosfet especially uh, gates uh, triggering for the uh, gate triggering we are taking this output that what uh, output given your buck converter in the real time and the second beauty of this circuit is that if we just uh, change uh, your voltage requirement depending on your voltage requirement you change your reference voltage and your output voltage will going to be obtained so you you just apply input voltage so simple property of buck converter as you know earlier that you, uh, you when you apply a voltage input voltage then the output voltage is less than your input voltage it means your v not value is always less than your v input value so if you apply any reference value in your real time system for example in any circuit today in any circuit you want to apply vr vr1 voltage then you just set vr1 and your v not is going to be approximately vr1 in the next day if you required the to set the voltage vr2 then the your circuit will trying to start giving the output vr2 this is the so this is all about the theory what i'm trying to discuss with you and now we have to go for the matlab and simulink block and see how to make a matlab uh, this buck converter in matlab and simulink so let's begin with matlab and simulink and this is your interface what we have to discuss earlier and you do whatever you do in the first video you can uh, follow the same process and finally you can make this, uh, this uh, circuit diagram of matlab in the matlab you know how to make this uh, block this buck converter as uh, i discussed in previous the videos and in today video i i try to uh, discuss how to uh, take this output i mean how to take uh, this voltage output and giving to the gate signal so the, all the parameter what what i am uh, discuss you uh, in previous video is same no parameter will going to be changed for the reference so what we have to take we just try to take output as a reference so output as a feedback so we just take output as a feedback we have a summer block you go into matlab and you just type type summer so you have a summer block also you have some block you uh, then you type constant in your simulink library and you uh, find this block uh, and after taking a constant you uh, you just connect these two uh, output of the buck converter and the reference in this manner and the uh, output of this summer is going to be this uh, saturation block you just type saturation in your matlab simulink library and you found this value uh, i mean this block and you set the limit upper limit is 1 and lower limit is 0 then you uh, take another uh, element that is the uh, repeating sequence block you just go on uh, go and uh, uh, write a repeating sequence and you find this block so you just uh, open this and you uh, put this value after that we have a some uh, re relational operator so we take a relational operator and the output of relational operator is going as a uh, gate in the gate circuits so your uh, mosfet is uh, going to be triggered depend trigger depending on the what output voltage and what error we have to found because uh, this this uh, in this line we found the error what what error the output uh, uh, error between the output voltage and your reference voltage so suppose we have to uh, set uh, 
uh, as you know you set uh, the reference voltage is 70 volt it means we want that uh, our uh, buck converter will give 70 voltage and we apply input voltage of 100 voltage and we just uh, uh, simulate this block and try to see what happen so once we simulate this block or comp uh, compilation will going to be occur and after that your uh, uh, block uh, this simulating block is going to be run and after that what you have to found you have to found that your uh, this uh, uh, display will going to be 78 means you uh, want 70 voltage uh, in uh, I mean output and your output is coming approximately 70 voltage and uh, if you want to change if you want then you can change it I, I show you later how to change this so you just uh, try to check the scope that how the graph will change in the buck converter if you are if you want to make the work converter in this manner what happened so if you make a converter in this manner so what happened uh, you just uh, rescale and you found this block and uh, what uh, if you analyze this block then you see that you only simulate your metal having 0.5 second and you find a very very precise i mean voltage uh, uh, waveform and uh, but you have some problem uh, so one problem are going to be reduced i mean if you see the open loop uh, buck converter then you got some uh, fluctuation here and this fluctuation will uh, reduce with the help of this con uh, this method when you are using closed loop circuit but the one problem is coming what what, what kind of problem will come for example you use the buck converter with application having the voltage uh, rating is 70 or 75 volts but in the starting it will be approximately 85 volts it is in the starting the converter will increase the voltage up to 85 volt and then it will try to reduce uh, their voltage ratio uh, i mean their voltage value and after some time after 0 0.2 second it will approximately it will going to be in a steady state so at that time your uh, external circuit will going to be damaged so this is the problem what we got with the help of this topology but uh, one problem is going to be i mean have to reduce that we got a steady state value so this the problem will we can solve in the next video uh, uh, when we discuss about the cl closed loop uh, buck converter using pi controller especially and in this uh, in uh, but in this video but i am trying to uh, so one more thing that if you change this voltage uh, i mean uh, constant value up to 80 what happens you want to 80 voltage output, so you just if you run this voltage so first it will be going in compile mode and the uh, circuit will going to be compiled and after that it will going to be run so let's see what happens so it will be its compilation process is over and it will be run after and you found you you got approximately 80 volt here you got approximately 80 volt and if you try to uh, see in the scope block then you have to see that you got approximately 80 volt so you just the reference voltage and your variable output voltage will come out with the help of this topology so this topology is obviously uh, better than your uh, previous topology that is op uh, open loop buck converter topology so in the last i'm trying to compare the output response of open loop buck converter which i have to discuss in the previous videos to the output response of closed loop buck converter using uh, without using any control technique so so what we have to see that in the previous videos or in the open uh, output response of open loop buck converter we got ripple on their output voltage and this ripple will uh, going to be removed by this uh, this topology by using uh, some feedback control technique but one problem will remain the uh, same or remain occur that at the, uh, at the starting the output voltage of the converter will going to the higher higher value which uh, which can damage your system so this problem will be uh, we can uh, remove by using pi controller what we have to discuss in the next video so thank you everyone thank you all for uh, listening me and for seeing my videos